Now, when you start a relationship, the last thing on your mind is parenting style. But major differences in how we parent can at best confuse the kids and at worst derail the family unit. On Anne Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group, we are talking to Joy Sluters and John Cowan from the Parenting Place. Good morning, Tebow. Good morning. morning. So let's talk about this because this is the topic uh, that I think a lot of parents go through. Uh, Joy, how do we raise the topic to start with? What are some key questions that we should be asking our partner? I think a good place to start is to have a chat about what was your family of origin like? You know, how were you parented? Is it, is it a style that you'd like to adopt with your own family or is it a style that you'd like to move away from? And then set some goals around you know, what sort of environment do we want to create for our children to grow and flourish? And what would we perhaps like to hear other people say about our family? But essentially committing to work together and support each other um, whenever possible. So is that a conversation you should be having before you have kids or after you've already had them? Before would be great, but often <laughs> no one thinks about it's that. It's going to be afterwards. I wonder if anyone ever did. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Where's the instruction <laughs> manual? Only the very organised people, which none of us were. Okay, so what is it okay, John, for parents to disagree on? Well, can I just say parents will disagree on all sorts of things. Two authentic people are going to have different approaches to all sorts of things. And I think we could all remember our own parents. One would be easier to ask than the other. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. My, my mum's standard answer was no, and dad would say, why not? And he would take my side. It was great. But uh, on a lot of issues, it's just a matter of degree. And then it's okay to have differences of opinion. I mean, it might be one parent thinks that one hour of technology a night is okay, another parent might think two hours. Mm. I think the easiest thing is just to go with the first parent that makes a ruling on it, and the other parent just goes, well, I think... Um, you know, we'll go with what your mum says. Yeah, and kids get really good at manipulating that too. So what should parents always agree on, Joy? Well, this is not a one-size-fits-all because our families are all different. But agreeing on values, manners, that sort of thing, and respect, of course. And, and how do kids learn how to do this? That's through us modelling it as parents. When we can model um, hospitality, generosity, kindness, when we can model um, our values, when we can model being respectful to each other and respectful to the people in our world, then that's when kids pick that up. Mm. They're always watching. There are mirrors. <laughs> the big important things, that's what we have to really focus mm, on. That's right. So John, how do we react then, and all kids do this, when they take advantage of that difference of opinion? Because they do. Mm. Mum, can I have ice cream? No. Go and ask your dad. Dad, can I have ice cream? <laughs> yes. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Mum said no. Mm. I think that parents should always defer to each other. Mm. And you can let your kids know that you might have a difference of opinion. You might say, oh, I'm not too sure why your mum said that. She's possibly thinking of something I hadn't thought of. So we'll go with what your mum says. I'll have a word with her and see if I can change your mind. Mm -hmm. And kids actually quite like that. You're still showing that you're a team but there's, a, there's some negotiation possible. Right, back each other up. Yes, yeah, That's what we're absolutely. saying, back each other up. Joy, what about differences in sort of the way you discipline children? Maybe, for example, one parent is a yeller and the other one doesn't believe in yelling. I mean, how do you deal with that? So tension causes anxiety in children. And what we really want is this calm environment where they can see that parents are on the same page mm -hmm. because we don't want that anxiety building in children. And um, yeah, we're looking for a, a harmonious environment. <laughs> so basically, I, the message I'm getting through here is that you've got to have each other's back like a jacket. Absolutely. All of the time. Yep. Uh, so, John, should kids see parents disagreeing? The standard advice is that you shouldn't fight in front of your kids. But if you can disagree with each other in an adult, respectful, mature way, that's a fantastic thing for your children to see modelled. It's great if they can see you actually resolving issues in front of them. A lot of us have got a way to go on that, so it's probably best we run off to the bedroom and do our bickering there and then come yeah, back. Yeah, so just explain to me very quickly, what is a adult mature way to have these <laughs> Well, where you can express a difference of opinion, yeah. but it's not um, battering the other person down. It's not going for a victory at any cost. It's actually going, uh, so just explain to me why you think that, and letting mm. the kids see you actually coming to an agreement. That's a wonderful thing to model to your kids. Excellent. Hey, thank you both so much for joining oh, us thank today. You. Great advice as always. Thanks, John and Joy.